Now that we've selected our images and made some images and corrected them based on the smart gain and offset using our lookup table, let's concentrate on some other tabs under the acquisition mode that allow us to capture different kinds of images. Up till now, we've been doing XYZ. XYZ allows us to capture images in X and in Y and in Z so we can do Z stacks, which we'll come to in a few minutes. But there are also other features available to us here. One very important one is XY Lambda. XY Lambda allows us to capture images in X and Y according to different wavelengths. So we can actually turn on and turn off different wavelengths as we're capturing our XY images. So that's very useful. Also useful is XYT. What is XYT? XYT allows you to do imaging in a time-lapse mode. You can collect your images in X and Y according to a time that you set up in hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So now you're actually creating movies of your cellular processes occurring in real time and storing that information as movies on the computer. So XYT is very useful. You can also do XY Lambda T. Again, there are several functions that allow you to capture images in X, Y, Z, in time, and in Lambda. So the system is very flexible when it comes to acquisition of images. Also on this tab, let's switch back to XYZ, is the Sequential tab. And this allows you to select how you're going to scan your images. You can scan between lines, which means as you image a line across your image, as you scan that line, you can drop down and scan between the line before you start another line. So this will augment the amount of light information that you're collecting. You can also sequ sequentially scan between frames. So after every frame is taken, you can go back and select yet another frame and then continue. You can also scan between stacks. A Z stack is a collection of images that are shot through a vertical portion of your tissue. We'll come to Z-Stacks in a minute. So se sequential scan is very useful. Also, we have what's called tile scan. What is tile scan? You can tell the computer to go to a particular tile on the position of the stage. So let's say in your specimen, you want to set up three or four different tiles. You can tell the system, in this tile, I want to scan XYZ. In this tile, I want to scan XYT. In this tile, I want to scan XY Lambda. So again, it gives you the power of the motorized stage and the motorized focus to get as much information as possible from each tile across your specimen. There's also what we call mark and find. Mark and find allows you to mark a region of interest that you can go back to later. So if during your setup and preparation you find portions of your specimen that are of interest to you, you can mark those in the computer and the system will go back to them on demand at a later time. Finally, on the Acquisition Mode tab, you have a Best Focus Panel. I don't particularly recommend the Best Focus Panel because you're depending on the computer to decide what the best focus is for the microscope. I think it's better just to find the best focus yourself. You know your tissues better than the system does, so just rely on your own eyes to tell you what is best focus.